Seven thirty, we'll call the meeting order. Pledge of allegiance. Pledge of allegiance to the flag, United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Trustee Bowles. Here. Trustee Dietley. Here. Trustee Harney. Here. Trustee McGuire. Here. Trustee Thomas. Here. Trustee Thorne. Here. Six trustees in the presence. We have a quorum. We have a meeting. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda is the minutes of March 18th, 2024. Do we have a motion to so approve? So moved the Atlee. Second, Thomas. Moved by the Atlee, seconded by Thomas to approve the minutes of March 18th, 2024. Any additions or corrections for the minutes? There being none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those opposed? Right is imposing the minutes, so they pass unanimously. Thank you, one and all. Okay, next item is the president's report. Uh, and as usual, we start the meetings with a civility pledge. This evening, I'm going to ask Miss Edie Reese to read the civility pledge. In the interest of civility, I pledge to promote civility by listening, being respectful of others, acknowledging that we are all striving to support and improve our community, and understanding that we each may have different ideas for achieving that objective. Okay, the next item, we've got a quick update on the village survey. We've got somewhere in excess of 200. I emptied out the red box at the close of business today. We have 327. 327. I've got 154 from input. So hopefully by the next meeting, I'll have the red for them input it. Um, okay, which is the extra comment slows it down. I've got 20 pages of, oh, of comments. Okay. All right. Those will be interesting. Okay, that's a that update there. Uh, that is it for the president's report this evening. Move to the clerk's report. Uh, once again, I'd like to thank Sharon for help with everything as I've been going along, working my way through Word and the uh, systems in the village and all that. And then Tony had asked me to remind everybody what should be in your packet. The uh, economic interest statement filing requirements should be in there. A paper one, and I know I got my electronic one today, so everybody should have that in their mail. If not, let me or Tony know. Let's look, send me an email to and copy me and Tony on this And I believe that is all I have. Yeah, an economic interest statement that was sent to your private email it will not show up in right. your village email. And it was in mine at nine o'clock this morning. Yeah. So um, you know, that is due by the first of May. So it's, we got one month to get those back to it. Okay, that's it for your report. That is all. Yes. All right. Uh, moving to planning and zoning. This is definitely. Uh, my report, I think, speaks for itself. Um, I don't know if you want to discuss it more during the later part. Maybe. But the the fire alarm and fire suppressors. I can talk tonight. Fire suppression system for building A. Um, those reviews have been completed and have been turned back to them due to lack of information. And all right. Fair enough. Thank you, Ms. Detmer. Uh, attorney's report. No report, Mr. President. Producer, thank you. Engineer report, Mr. Steele. Uh, just give you an update on the street. Um, I'll have something. Probably like 75 percent, at least budget wise, more final numbers than what was previously done at the next meetings. Okay. Uh, on the water main project, yep. how are we doing on that? Uh, hopefully, within the next month, here is getting it all ready. We can go out for bid, and that way we can uh, get it going. Okay. Because uh, I did hear last week that the Illinois EPA has extended their uh, loan program from 20 years to 30 years. So it'll pick up an extra 10 years. 
Although with that announcement, they also announced that the interest rate has gone from 1.1% to 1.8%. We need to move on that as soon as we can. But I think a uh, 30 year loan, 1.8 would be doable for people to help. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, Director of Finance, Mr. Mann. Request the motion for the approval of the accounts payable in the amount of $81,973.56. So moved. Moved by Thorne, seconded by Barney to approve the warrants of April 1st, 2024, in the amount of $81,897.56. Okay, are there any additions or deletions, comments or questions regarding the warrants this evening? There being none, roll call please. Trustee Dietley? Aye. Trustee Harney? Aye. Trustee McGuire? Aye. Trustee Thomas? Aye. Trustee Thorne? Aye. Trustee Gold? Aye. Six for only votes, no negative votes, motion so carries. Thank you all. Um, I just want to give you an update on the positive pay. We were, we've uh, set that up with the bank and because of, you know, Doing the negotiating that we don't have to pay any fees, we probably already saved 150 bucks from what they would have charged us. So, what that was it. sorry, was that the first American program that you're talking about last year? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, that's all I got. All right, thank you, Eugene. Uh, comments from the public, do we have any? Okay, Mrs. Reese. Yes, I'm back. Um, first, I want to say thank you to whoever picked up the dead beaver on the oh. roll in 72. <laughs> that was quite horrific for everybody having to go buy it. So yeah. that was a really big one, too. I felt terrible. I saw it. I'm like, oh my gosh. So thank you, whoever did it. I truly appreciate it. Um, second thing, I know we're uh, one of the items on today's um, agenda is regarding the storage unit. So I did a little bit of research before I came in tonight, and I found out that um, Mr. Rybeck, in fact, is selling the property, um, obviously for more money, but as a storage unit investment. So he is not even going to be building it. I have a little pamphlet right here. Um, even on here, there's some information that I don't even know where they got this from. It says 62,000 people live in three mile radius of the storage unit. I don't know where 60,000 62, people live. Um, and the owner is willing to entertain completing the approved project. Um, he obviously has failed to come up with any type of plans to the village. He's failed on everything he has promised. I, I would hope that the village um, board would rethink and reconsider allowing him to be in the village I think it says a lot for him that he bought it and he's a right away marketing it to sell it. That was his intentions from the beginning. He had no intention on doing anything that he promised other than he clear cut it every day. Um, so I just hope that the village board takes some consideration and to not allow that extension for him. Thank okay. you. Yeah, Reeves. Uh, next item on our next individual on the list is Mr. Hoff. No? Mr. President, I just wanted to ask your permission of the boards to uh, again do an Earth Day cleanup in the village on Saturday, April 20th from 9 o'clock in the morning to 12. Have everybody meet down like we have for the last eight years here at the village. And uh, we will give out, you know, bags, pickers, and buckets and stuff. If anybody could bring theirs, that would be fantastic to help the cleanup. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, Mr. Hawk, we will put that on the agenda for our 14 April 15th meeting. And uh, we'll some type of a resolution noting your Earth Day celebrations. Thank you, Bill. That was April 15th. Bill, Bill, April 20th. April 20th. This is April 20th. Saturday. It's a Saturday. <laughs> if you want to give me that information, I can put it on the latest news on the website. Okay. Right, right up there, right on the. This one, guy. 
Okay. Uh, so for public comments, we move into trustees' reports, roads and parks. Mr. Hyman. Well, nothing new really to report, except uh, we're about two weeks away from the speed of pumps on locusts. Okay, you did promise those on April 15th, didn't you? Uh, Kyle did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tax he said day. right after tax day, they'll, they'll be on day. Day. Uh, He said speed table, right? Pardon me? He said speed table. No, don't oh, sell speed home. Oh, oh, speed home. Oh, speed home. Oh. <laughs> speed home. Okay, 49. Speed home, speed tables. I just want to make sure I had it right. <laughs> <laughs> a table is an elongated home. Okay. <laughs> but it's a speed home. Yeah, that's, that's, it. Else. Oh, that's it. Okay, thank you, Ed. Uh, finance, Mr. Thorne. No report, Mr. President. Thank you, Mark. Water and sewer, Ms. Bond. Uh, there was a water main breakage today, but Kyle is on it. Um, I think there's a little bit of responses on social media saying that water pressures were down, but also from firsthand accounts with people nearby, they said their water pressure was fine. Um, I have had no direct bad news, so I'm Proceeding that Kyle is working on it and we'll follow up with him. Uh, I had a call from him about six o'clock. They were just wrapping up the one on Locust. They were waiting for the crew to finish the one up at the school. Perfect. And uh, he bagged out of attending the meeting this evening. Yeah, I kind of um, figured that was taking his priority. Yes. Uh, other than that, everything is going well. All right. Uh, thank you, Courtney. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, no, I take that back. I uh, just, <laughs> I mean, it is going well, but uh, Wendy and I, we're dealing with a uh, a outstanding water bill payment. So we're addressing that half of it's been paid and we're following up with the, the resident and going to work on that for the next couple of weeks and get that taken care of. Okay. So now I'm done. Thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. Uh, police and public safety, Mr. Diallo. Uh I don't have anything, but I know Chief has a couple of announcements that he has. Uh, yeah, just, uh, I, I said probably about a month ago that I was going to do a town hall meeting for the administrative adjudication. Um, it looks like that's going to be the 10th, Wednesday to the 10th, uh, at six o'clock. So I put something on the neighborhood. Uh, I put a comment on the neighborhood app. I'm going to also put something in our, our village website. I'll have uh, Gene put something and then I'll put something on the Safe for Together group and then our police department website as well. Okay. Six o'clock. Six o'clock on the 10th. Sorry. Nothing further. All right. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Chief. Appreciate it. Uh, building and environment. Fire. Uh, no report tonight. Thank you, Jennifer. Uh, building and zoning. It's Thomas. No report. Thank you, Kellen. All right. Moves us into old business. And old business, we have got the state of Illinois calendar year 2024-2025 Rock Salt Joint Participation Agreement. Resolution 558, resolution authorizing the village president and the village clerk to enter into contracts and agreements with the state of Illinois, IDOT, particularly for this purchase of salt. I don't believe we have a motion to approve mm -hmm. resolution 558. I move. Second. Moved by Courtney Kevin Kelly to approve resolution 558, resolution authorizing the village president and village clerk to sign agreements with the state of Illinois regarding the purchase of salt. Any further comments, questions, or discussion? There being none, well, it is just a resolution. Uh, it does involve funds, so I'll uh, call the call. Trustee Harney. Aye. Trustee McGuire. Aye. Trustee Thomas. Aye. Trustee Thorne. Aye. Trustee Bo. Aye. Trustee Dietley. Aye. Six for on the votes, no negative votes, the motion so carries. Thank you, one and all. Okay. The next item on the old business is 1601 request for an extension of their special use permit. As you all recall, last April, the board at that time authorized a special use permit to Conrad Ryback uh, for a special uh, a self storage unit at 1601 West Main. Since that authorization of the special use was made by this board, Mr. Ryback has purchased the property. He has cleared the property. He has submitted the plans for the building, the uh, engineering, the electrical, the plumbing, 
the heating, air conditioning, the landscaping, the parking, the fire suppression, the fire alarm. Uh, what else has he submitted? Those on all, uh, that's I, I, I pretty much it. No, it was submitted in the review was done as of yeah. uh, Friday. Yeah. These items, a lot of these items were submitted back in February. Yes, sir. Mr. Steele had provided his review to the board earlier. He sent that out sometime last month. However, as you all know, that special use had a one year limit on it. That limit or that extension was the set or that deadline is the 17th of April. Mr. Ryback has requested that that uh, deadline be extended to give him time to finish the project that he has started. He has requested a six month extension on his work to get this done. And that is what we're here for this evening is to discuss the request from Mr. Ryback for a six month extension of uh, his special use. We have a motion to, uh, well, I suppose we should start the discussion. Um, and then there's an ordinance. And then there's an ordinance. Okay. You can fill in a, a, a date on that ordinance. So okay. Depending on the structure. The uh, motion should be the uh, special use of 20, 2023 shall 2024-2003. That's not the correct is it? The original ordinance was 2023 2023-4. Okay. The one tonight is 2024-4. Three for identifying the purposes. Okay. All right. This evening, what we need is a motion to discuss the special use that expires on April 17th, 2024. And that was a special use authorized by the ordinance 2023 4. Okay. We have a motion. So moved. I'll second it for discussion. Yep. Moved by Thorne, seconded by Arnie. The floor is now open for the discussion of the request by Mr. Ryback for an extension of his special. I missed it. Was there a date on that motion or not? <clears throat> six, six months, or do you have a date on that one? No, we don't. That's a discussion. Okay. That is all part of the discussion. So, uh, Mr. Ryback came before the, the village over a year ago. Land and this board issued the special use for a year. He is now requesting a six month extension. He has completed the purchase of the property and the other items. As I said, plans have been submitted to ICCI and to Heinz Engineering. They have been under review. Heinz has sent his back with comments, and there are some items that need to be corrected. ICCI has also done the same. But the process has begun. He is working on it. He has not sat idle this whole winter on this. He's been moving forward. He just needs another six months of time to complete the process. And that is what the motion is in regard well, to. Uh, to so be more precise, he needs, he's asking six months to start the process. The start. The condition was that he commence the construction activities. So the extension would be to start the construction activities yeah. within the upon uh, uh, engineering and building permit approvals. You may not, I, I mean, you could make it, he has to finish by a code, but that's okay. not, that's yeah, not that's what okay. was, uh, he needs to commence the way it was the first positive. Right. So we had a, a year from to get this all going, but has all the paperwork just been submitted to you just recently? Or is it, no, it's been in since February. And so oh. with all the reviews and comments going back, and then the fire suppression came in later, and then the fire alarm came in last. And so the fire alarm just came in like as of Friday, because as of your oh, that, demo, it said it hasn't been. been. That, it was in, the plan review had not been completed plan when review. I wrote that. The plan review was completed later. Good it Friday. Happened. Okay. And those comments have been sent to Mr. Ryback. And that's normal. Normally, you don't get suppression and alarm until sometimes until after the building permit for beginning construction has been done. 
So, but he tried to get them in as quickly and as completely as possible, but there was some delay because of uh, water pressure tests and things like that that are mandated as part of the design for the fire suppression system. So um, there was some trouble getting. Um, I understand that it's a private property owner and so they can create and do as they wish, but there was some discussion. I know this is a contentious area and I thought that there was some discussion that once they come back to the board with plans, and I remember the term was comprehensive plans, is there an, a time in which we review them and have any input? No, we're just right now. We have done all of the input we have. The special use was approved. With the limitations and the conditions was last April. Those will go. The ICCI and the engineers will review the plans with those items noted. And they submitted their paperwork as of February, but they've had this. I know they cleared the property back in last First summertime. Time. And then they've just now submitted paperwork as of February and it's been going back and forth with both of your departments? I got it in March. In March? Yeah. Okay. So the last and, month. And they had given preliminary back in late October or November for early review, kind of a preliminary to try and get things a little bit more together when they submitted. Um, so it took some time to get that information together and then Obviously, you end up getting the holiday season, so yeah. you know they're, you know, things tend to come to somewhat of a standstill during the end of November through December. But and you recommended a three month ex extension, but that you said they're requesting a six month extension. Is and there a reason you said three months? I was not aware of the six month. I'm sorry. I was, and and the reason I was suggesting a three month is because they should be able to get their plans back and submitted. I would defer to Mr. Steele though, because of even if the plans are ready and I can issue a permit because all the building, the plumbing, the mechanical, everything there is ready. I technically cannot issue a building permit unless the engineering requirements that have the approval of K dot, I dot, yeah. and all those are in. And that's where the big holdup is because I, and I again defer to Mr. Steele on, on being able to fill you in on that, but I do know that takes a while. And as far as I know, they have been in contact with them, but whether or not the formal submittals have been completed or anything, again, and that's is that on our end or that's on their that's, end? That's on IDOT or IDOT. Okay. Yeah. So if they squeeze like the IDOT, uh, IEPA, um, Kane County. Maybe even Army Corps, depending on this particular wetland. Does that they happen after we get approval here, or is that simultaneous? Uh, kind of, is he doing uh, it's it? kind of simultaneous? Is typically what happens on a large project is you'll kind of reach out to the agencies to say, hey, we're planning on doing this. What kind of permits are you going to require us, and so forth. Mm -hmm. And then in the meantime, as we're doing our review, and then once it gets pretty well close to final, at least as far as knowing. That it's going to be approved by the village. That's when they do that the final submittal towards uh, these agencies. Do we know if we've reached out to those other government agencies if they've done that kind of work? That's Mr. Ryback's responsibility, not ours. Oh, I understand that, but I'm just I'm just trying to gauge how much progress they've made on their commitment that they said within this past year. So I'm just wondering, have they reached out to the other government agencies, or are we just the first ones and they want an extension from us? I don't know. All... Mr. Ryback, are you on? Yeah, do, are you aware if Mr. Ryback? I, I am. I think you need a hard pass, but on Mr. Ryback's land use council. So uh, appreciate the opportunity then to be before you tonight. Uh, to answer your question, Trustee Bo, uh, yes, uh, Mr. Ryback has engaged with KDOT and IDOT, started those process. It is, as Mr. Steele has said, a lot of the initial work comes at the village level, some initial contact with the county and the state. And then as this gets closer to final, it, it provides kind of the spark and then knowing that we'll get the permits or at least it looks like we'll get the permits yeah then you really you know go harder toward the county and the state because of their own processes uh as Ms. Deborah's comments uh, she's correct we did get the comments back from from ICI from engineering uh, we're prepared to submit a revised set of plans perhaps as, as soon as the end of this week they are in progress so uh we as, as you mentioned President Bickett Mr. Ryback and his team have been diligent throughout this process there were some Delay some of his holiday. There was a water leak that changed that affected his ability to get some of the readings he needed. There were some challenges of getting the utility information. 
put that together. These things happen. And, and, and so really all we're looking for, no change at all in, in the project is just giving us these six months as an outside date to start construction. Uh, Mr. Ryback advised me, and he is here, you can see his, he, uh, he's having a little bit of technical difficulty. Uh, so he's texting me if he can't speak. Um, but uh, the, as soon as we get the permits, the intent is to start construction within two weeks after that, estimates about a six to eight month construction period. So we're not looking for, for any real changes, but just a little more time in light of these circumstances to get the project nothing going. Happy to answer any questions that I can. When he presented um, his drawings, it was just a concept last year. Was, there was nothing really confirmed. Have we seen an actual architectural drawing of what's oh, the law been that's, submitted? That's, that's what's been submitted. That's been what's reviewed, and that's what's going to be resubmitted. And, and if I may, um, just a reminder to the board, when the year was set, he had asked for at least 15 to 20 months or 24 months initially, but 12 was what was decided by the village board. He had asked, I, th I think right. if I recall, it was either 15 or 18 months, if I remember right. Um, that would have to be checked in the minutes. I'm, I'm well, it doesn't matter because my... 12 was what was great. What, so what was, he asked for doesn't matter. Again, what he asked for and what the village board declared was what he ended up obviously accepting because that was what was determined. But um, again, he had asked for longer at that time. So um, because when you're dealing with commercial projects, quite frankly, it sometimes takes three to four years to get a project off the ground. So for him to be moving forward has, has been in, in keeping with the normal timetable on a commercial project. I, I think I'm hesitant to go along with the extension. Just I know that here people come to you with permits. We grant the permits that there's nothing extraneous about it, we even grant extensions because, as you said, things happen. Um, I know that this area is a really sore point of contention for a lot of the village, and it seemed that it was really urgent last spring, and I wasn't on the board at the time. I just sat over on the floor and just listened to the animosity, and I know feelings can't necessarily change this, but it seemed like we were pushing it through so fast. And and I get I now know that the board set stipulated 12 months. Maybe Ryback's notion was it was more reasonable to do it in 15. But I am hesitant with the fact that it's been there for a year. It seems like it's been on sale the whole time. And it seems like only now are mo mo motions coming forward where they're submitting development because maybe it wasn't being able to be sold this past year. And I just it just puts a little sour taste in my mouth of giving an extension for something that it felt like Ryback was pushing last year really hard. And we, aside from clear cutting, which was very abrupt and upsetting, I don't think I've seen anything else. And I'm, I'm not on planning and zoning, but Kelly, I don't think I've heard anything from you as the trustee and the liaison. I mean, aside from President Pickett mentioning it last week that we needed an extension, I don't think we'd have any updates. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think uh, four weeks ago, there or four weeks or six weeks ago, I think somebody asked, and that we said there we have not heard from them. Yeah, that's what we were told. Mm -hmm. I have to go back and look, but it was a month or so ago, month or two. We're, so you're looking we're for April it's... or March fifteenth or so is when uh, Mr. Steele sent out his review. So it's been, you know, well, we're April fifth, April first, yeah. only two weeks. Yeah, so March fifteenth, yeah. we'd had them by that weeks. time a month. So it's been February. Wait, but when did we have it as the board? Hmm? We, we had it back in February? Or I no, thought... we, we don't have anything to do with it. Oh, this no, no, I know. This is all CCI and engineering. Right, and, but what I understood is they got the paperwork in March and February. So just in the last 30 to 45 days, that shot us 365. Luminaries in October. Okay. I, okay. I'm just, I'm getting the timeline now because, yeah, we didn't, we weren't getting information and I just, it felt like it was, it feels like it's being pushed. And I just want to ask more questions. Reason being is it expires in 16 days. Yeah. And, and this is the only, um, and I defer to Mr. Schuster on this, but um, he, I'm not sure when the actual request came in, but you can put on the first board meeting, which is the first board meeting. Oh, I understand the timing of this. Yes. I'm yes. asking about the timing of submitting all the paperwork to the to the village, to you guys, so you had ample it, time to work on it 
and they'd have the time to go back in 2018. We gave initial comments back in 2023, and I've been working with answering questions basically since September. So I've been working with Mr. Ryback's consultants to answer questions and try and make sure that they knew what they needed to submit, what the current regs were and, and that type of thing. So it hasn't just been totally nothing. But and that's not something that gets reported. It's like any other building project. Once it gets approved by the board, it just goes through its normal channels. And so we were communicating with them as they requested and providing them with the information that they needed. And as, as I said, they submitted a, a preliminary site plan and, and information uh, just to get some feedback as to what was, you know, what they were thinking of if that would be a consideration. So Mr. Steele wrote the report back in 2023. So I think it would be helpful moving forward, especially with contentious issues and properties, especially for those of us who are new. I know some of the stuff goes on behind the scenes and we don't get to make those choices, but you're it, always allowed to ask a question. Well, and, and that's what um, I'm so, doing. I'm asking, but, no, but yeah. you waited till the last minute yourself. Uh oh, I beg your pardon. Uh -oh. Yeah, I brought up it with me tonight. I know, but you never asked questions to where it stood before. Actually, I think Jenny pointed out that we had asked questions and it was just that we had nothing yet. So, but there has been some paperwork submitted and that's where I was curious. I thought it would be brought up in reports of this property is doing this, this property is doing that. Mm -hmm. And as I said, like being new, I didn't realize that this is all going on behind. behind. So I'm thing, trying to assess. The, bar, the liquor store and the, yeah. that we I guess that we don't have a say on it, but we don't know where We don't is, deal so. with those on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, but if we're, if we're working. If you've got a question, then ask. I mean, there's one thing like I am asking those questions. For, for Monday night of the month. Mrs. Detmer is available. Kelly is our liaison. You could ask Kelly. I, I have spoken with and him. Kelly could ask Mrs. Detmer. I mean, it's, yeah. You know, but to sit and wait for a Monday night and say, I didn't get a report. If you were curious about that. I'm, I'm sorry, I wasn't. I'm, I'm sorry, but I wasn't meaning to put you on the spot. There was some questions I had. I didn't think I was putting off or pulling anything fast and loose. It just, I knew this was coming up on the agenda and I'm trying to understand the timeline. And this is the first time we've had a back and forth with the de the developer's attorney. So I'm catching up here. Thank you. For clarification, if this, if it's voted down tonight, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, what happens? I'm um, back to square one. Yes, the special use would be uh, would have expired. We'd be back to square one. And, and a question: Don't don't read anything into it. The owner of that commercially zoned property could question could have leveled every single tree on that property. I mean, he left a buffer there behind the homes. So we start all over. A new owner. Don't read anything into it. But a new owner could literally clear that lot up to the property limit. Is that correct? Yeah. Uh, or is it up to or is that a yeah. simple question and complicated answer? <laughs> no, uh, what you're asking is it is a property owner entitled to remove trees from his property? Right? Basically. Yeah. 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 Well, we also have that code, Courtney, that you found where 40% can't be removed. Yeah, and then when we what discuss it, discuss it, it's in we do, we, it's not enforceable at the moment because we don't have anything to back it up. But there's a part that says when removing, it's uh, ten. I want to say it's like ten B, yeah, we, ten eight so, four. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. But we didn't have a baseline. But we got a baseline right it's now. Forty percent. You can't clear more than forty yes. percent of the trees. Uh, and at this point, it's already gone, so it would be moot for a later owner. Because well, we're talking about the existing trees. I, I understand that, but I'm saying the property they'd be coming onto would be 40 percent of the existing trees that remain. So, but that wasn't for a commercial lot, was it? Uh, it was for, the way that I remembered reading it. It was for all lots, but then there's more areas of assessment for depending if it's residential, commercial, etc. Et um, but it had to be with. The I'm people. curious. Do we have any? Are there legal ramifications against the village since? They've made since Ryback has 
based action based on what we have set. I mean, I, I recognize that that's a real issue. Like we have set forth that there's a special use permit. We've allowed them that it can be a storage unit. They have acted upon that. I don't want to take he that away. the property until we gave him that special use. And, yeah. Well, but he had 12 months to move on it. He has been moving. I will say this. I do some work with commercial properties and doing things. I will say this, and anybody in here, can, I don't think you can dispute this. Anytime you're working with permits and things, it takes longer than you think. I will say that. <laughs> I will tell you that. I work with people on HVAC permits all the time on big buildings. Cities take a lot longer than you can ever imagine. So it does take longer to do things than sometimes people realize. You had enough time to list the price for the land for triple the price. Well, that's my next question. Is the property for sale? <laughs> So I'll take that one. I want to circle back if I may, the board and Mr. President. Uh, no, it's probably not for sale. As of what, last Friday? <laughs> I, I'm, it's probably not been sale for as long as I know. I've been engaged in this the last couple of months. I have it listed. I have a copy of it listed last Friday. I, I can't speak to that. Like I say, is Mr. Ryback, I confirmed with him as recently it's right as- here. Yeah. It's right here. Right here. That's We've not my document. Right I appreciate that. If I may, respectfully, that's not relevant. The only question before you, we're not looking to make this contentious. The question is simply, Will the board grant us six more months from the 12 month deadline that the board set itself? That was not, that's not a grand legal concept. It's something the board did. Mr. Ryback wanted more time at the beginning. The board a year ago said, you have 12 months to start construction. His response was, okay, I'll do my darndest. And he has done his darndest. He had, he worked on getting preliminary plans through with ICCI, worked through those comments. There were some delays that, again, they happened. There was a water leak. It affected the ability to get water readings, which are necessary for some of the utilities in the fire suppression system. There was an issue with locating the utilities in the areas that you could properly design the engineering plans. It's okay, it's okay. You're, you're correct, I trust you Dadley. These things, in the best of circumstances, when these things don't happen, 12 months is a really short time. It's on a state route. If you ever worked with IDOT, that takes time. He's engaged with that as well. We're not looking to, to, to start arguments here. We're not looking to cause problems. I know there are people who don't like this use. I respect that. This board did find a year ago that we met the standards, and we're just trying to bring this project home. He's pretty much ready to go. He's invested a substantial sum of money to date in getting this project to where it is, and we are really close. He did. He wanted more than 12 months. Part of the reason we didn't come to you until now is that when, when Mr. Rabbit first reached out to me early this year, is that I'm trying to get that permit, so I don't have to worry about this. And he is awfully close to it, but we're just a little too close to the 17th. And you know, prudence is to come to you See if you're willing to just grant a short extension. He is, as I mentioned earlier, from the day he gets the permit, he's estimating two weeks starts construction. Someone asked what happens if, if it doesn't happen. There's a, there's a handful of options, one of which is, yes, we do start the process all over again, and we're right back before on a matter with the very same project for which you've already granted approval. That seems like a lot of wheel spinning to me. That's one option. Another option is he looks at other uses of the property, which won't carry some of the conditions that the board imposed a year ago that Mr. Ravik has agreed to. We think that outcome of that ordinance was a fair outcome. And we're looking forward to bringing this project to, to the village. So uh, this is, we've been diligent. We've done everything we can to work within the village's ordinances, work with the village staff. It's been collaborative and cooperative. Um, again, happy to answer questions. The property's not for sale. He has invested lots of money in this and is ready to go on developing it once we just get these plans finalized. Any other comments or questions? There being none, roll call, please. Uh, the ordinance on point date. Need to fill in the date, please. Okay, let's, let's make sure let's we fill in the date. Finish then this discussion turns to the date. Do we want to get six months, three months? I'm inclined to suggest three months. Be just to make sure that we are all staying diligent on it and then we can follow up and make sure that things are progressing instead of there just being an open gaping hole for the next year. No offense, I just know driving past the same that clear cut. Um, I would like to do three months so that, yeah, I recommend July three months. 17. Can it be completed in three months? Well, this would be, the way I was reading the ordinance would be for the permits to be completed. Is that- can So you're saying- well, that start so no, that commence sure. construction can not commence as a oh let's give right. them the the original condition was that construction 
uh, would commence within one year. And, and under the law, that term gains a little meaning. Uh, it doesn't include clearing the trees. It, it requires, uh, usually the bellwether is the issuance of a permit and then a shovel starts digging. That's what I was thinking, permit. Okay, uh, so um, that's why those that term was used in, originally and, and, and it, it um, means that some actual work about construction of the project has to be done. Since so we have this, three months, since we would, would get to a, a, a shovel in the ground, that's or three months to get a permit through. You could you could call it that instead, or, or you know. Barb, you had recommended three months. I'd like to go with your recommendation of permit approval within three months. And then you've indicated that you guys can be constructing within two weeks after that. So at three months, like if you need an extension by three months, we will have an idea of the diligence and where you stand on it. What I'd say that if I may is, and I appreciate that, certainly yeah. three months is better than, than having to restart the process in, in three weeks, which is what one of the options we have. Um, I believe, and I'm not an engineer, and I'm not in, in this Denver's trade, that, that we can get the permit issued for the village. I think we're working toward that. We did talk a little about IDOT in particular. What I don't want, I know Mr. Ryder doesn't want, is to put us in a position where it's early July, got a village permit, but not all the state permits. And so he takes action to start construction in a way that may not be what a normal construction process would be, because he can't, for example, do a curb cut or some things that IDOT needs. In a, if we had our druthers, we'd get the six months because I think in that time we'd get the other agencies approval as well and proceed with construction the way it should happen. Can we deal with three months for now and maybe get a shovel in the ground, something a little out of order? I'd say possibly. Um, again, that's not my trade, so I don't want to. I don't want to represent that that's a smart move. Honestly, that's out of my wheelhouse. I'd like to hear from Barb and right. Jeff and even Steve. Well, and Mr. Passman, the last thing I heard was three months to have a village permit approval. Am I wrong? Ms. No, Paul? that's that's yeah. So, yeah. I, I mean, let's keep talking. Well, but, but that's what I, heard. I, I was thinking with the caveat of construction starting within two weeks. But if we need the county and then we need the state, I think this is where I'm. This is where I'm getting a little. I had some frustration that the paperwork wasn't filed. At least I know preliminary was, but more of the stuff was in February and March, and now we're going to wait on county and wait on state. And so, yeah, what is our realistic timeline in? Everybody. Again, we, we believe that the, the letter that Mr. Ryback sent, believe that if we had, and we were dealing with, you're right, Mr. Schuster, <laughs> the same trigger that was in the ordinance a year ago, commencement of construction. Permit issuance is a different one. Uh, and we can work within that if that's the, the will of the board. Um, we believe that six months gets us a shovel in the ground with all the permits we need to do that. And handling construction the way that we envision construction. Village, county, state. All the things, and that, all the things, all ground. the things that we would need to reasonably pursue this project as a developer would and should. Again, if, if the board's will is permit issuance at three months and something else, we'll do our best to work with that as we've worked with the commission so far. So far, excuse me. I'd like to think we can do that and we won't have to come back here next, you know, in June or July, but we're, we'll work with what you give us. Obviously, it's, it's getting an extension is better than not getting an extension. Thoughts, Barb and Jeff, and you're, you're much more well versed on how these. Jeff needs to speak about the K dot and, and I dot kind of thing because that's, that's there. That so as I mentioned before, is you need I dot permit or I dot grantee because technically they are allowed access into their helper. They still need I dot permit for access. Um, they need EPA, they need sanitary water, um, land use. Uh, just because of all the disturbance. And then you also need Kane County. Um, I talked to Kane County about three days ago, and they're sitting at about four weeks for a review. Uh, that's on a good time that they'd be able to do it. Uh, they said they could possibly speed that up if there's a free meeting with them. Um, EPA is typically is it's anywhere between 30 and 45 days. Lately, they've been at 45 days. Um, IDOT, your guess is good as mine on Ida because uh yeah, they're they're a little bit crazy. So um and then obviously just village, uh my 
personal self is, you know, obviously the, uh, the urgency of it. I think I have a student on that line. So, uh, Thank you. so I have a body, you would come forth with a motion for ordinance 24, 2024-03 for a three month or a six month pension. A three month for permit. For permit yeah. issues. Three months for village permit. So then what happens after the three months? It's yeah, a well, you go well, the state, then you go yeah. to yeah. everybody else. So then it's three months have been ended after the three months. No, they month. need an extension yeah. at three months because they don't have county and state and others they have to come back and then we can assess the diligence and the progress of where they are with their other applications, um, which well, seems rather... Not the way you've stated it. No. It needs to I mean, be more You would have to say three that. months for a village permit and uh, and further review of oh, construction. Well, but wouldn't the three-month yeah. permit expire as of three months then? No, because they can't put a shovel in the ground in three months. That's what the permit. That's what the the twelve months was. Is they were supposed to dig a hole, right? But, so that's what I'm saying. They can't do it. Okay, three months is what they're saying. Thank you. Okay. They may still have KDOT, IDOT, and IEPA issues that will prevent them from starting construction. Then what I'm hearing is we probably should go towards the six month in order for everything to be met. And construction. Yes, when, uh, I was thinking three, that's what Mr. I'm, Cashman, I'm sorry, and, I was thinking at the three month, then we'd have a chance to kind of see the progress. My apologies. No, no apology. No, no apology necessary. It's a good it's a good discussion. It, and, it, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's it, it it's not really a chicken and egg. It's kind of everything gets pushed down the road and 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 starts falling in line as things get finalized. Things regarding the site improvement plans and the water, the detention, the, the water main extensions, and all those uh, all those details uh, that uh, and and where exactly and what the configuration of the entrance is going to look like. I, I think we all kind of where it's going to be. But KDOT and IDOT will want to look at the configuration of it. And and need all the engineering drawings for that, which starts with Mr. Steele, but then uh, get, has to end up being coordinated between those three entities uh, for a final sign. And and if I may, please, the reason I can't issue what well, out the door, I can have everything ready, so to speak, but until such time as the engineering is done, if they have to shift a building location or make it smaller or combine a, a building or something uh, because of the site. I could be doing my review on the five buildings as it is, but if they have to tweak that, I can't finalize it until I know for sure that the engineering is going to be right because we don't want a problem with drainage. And so that's of the utmost importance and that we have our fire lanes around it and, and that type of thing because I've been coordinating with, with the fire department to make sure their needs are met and we, like we said in the ordinance it's got to have a fire lane around building A for sure mm -hmm. and they're supposed to be around the others so that all takes part in the site plan so those tweaks have to get in there they have to get approved under the engineer before I can play pen and say, yes, everything's okay as far as the building permit. Does that help people understand it a little bit better? They can have they can have everything ready as far as the building plumbing, the electrical, mechanical, the suppression system, but until that site plan is finalized and approved for all of the different yeah. parts. There's a lot of order and there's a lot of simultaneous yes. shifting at the same time. Yes. Uh, well, it was actually yours and Ed's motion, so you guys should set the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for discussion. <laughs> <laughs> you turn it on. Let's amend the motion. To, yeah. to yeah. specify which, which of all these options is going to be plugged in. Yep. So everybody knows. So we're looking at a renewal, which is what I understood. And the question is whether, and no, to no, vote on whether or not there's an extension. Extension, extension. Yeah, extension. And of how long that is. 
If, if we said six months, that is still putting notice to Mr. Drebeck that he better get on this. Because as Jeff said, sometimes the state or IDA or whatever will take a I'm rounding up a month. So he better not wait till the last end, the last minute to do this. We're not letting him off the hook with six months. And at first, I was thinking three months, but no, let's put a date. If things aren't completed by everybody, everybody by six months. Right, the ground as of six months. Okay, so you're talking October 17th? Correct. That would be six months. That would months. be six months. Mm -hmm. I, I say three months because he's had a whole year to do this. Okay, we've not wanted six months, wanted two months, three months. He said he, he took the trees down and he didn't submit anything. So I, you know, he's had that time to start okay. and submit everything. And that's where I'm having a whole a problem with all of this. Okay, do we have a motion? Well, well motion for what? To, there is a motion on the floor. Well, well I'm motion? looking for the date. So there needs to be an amendment. An amendment to the motion with the date. Trustee Hardy started to do that. Trustee Hart with it. He suggested six months, but we did not get a second. We didn't make it a motion. It's made it a comment. We're, we're still discussing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're Barbara, I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. Um, yes, I apologize. Yeah. Mr. Driver, did he unnecessarily delay this whole process? <laughs> yeah, I'm putting you on the spot. I know that. What Was there flagrant violation? I mean, not violation. Not in, in, in my experience with commercial developments, no, because it took until I believe early summer, midsummer, for them to even take purchase the property. No, they have been in So I'm not sure the exact closing date. I mean, that's not something that is part of the building permit process. Okay. Uh, what whatever the process was, um, it's. Okay. In, in, in a lot of communities, it takes three to four months just to review the plans, and we try and get them done within two to three weeks. So it just depends on how complete the project is, how lengthy plan reviews are. A lot of communities have a lot more commercial property than we do. We got one. But, but he didn't submit any plans, even at if, if the planning and zoning meetings. It was that's what the required said. That's all. That's all I know that. I mean, I yeah, know no, that. Just, I know, I know that. that. I'm not trying but to defend him. I'm just explaining. He didn't come back with any plans when planning and zoning was asking for, you know, what the fencing was going to be like, what the buildings were going to look like. He did not come back with anything. He gave, he gave uh, elevations. He was, but it's. He was getting a. Correct me if I'm wrong. He was getting a feel for the community and the board at that time. And the board set numerous restrictions and see if he would agree to it. That's the setbacks. We well, even got down to the color of the property. Exactly. You know, exactly. and, and he had and he agreed to all of these. Correct. Nobody liked those. To, come on. None of us like to see the trees come down. But that's not the question. He has the legal right to do that. He could have cleared every tree on that property. I have been told by legal authorities he could have done that. I'll put it that way. I'm not a legal authority, so I'm not going to say yes or no. But he's a private owner of the property. The property is commercial property. So and, and the ordinance that was passed and it is before you to be extended has it's extending what was in the original, which dictates color, the size, all of that is the, in there. And that's what we're having to review to. And those comments have gone back. So we're continuing to maintain the integrity that was requested by the village board last year. And remember, Mr. Drebeck wanted a 30-foot building, and that was voted down by the board when we restricted them to 20 feet. Correct, which is the so, same height as the well, lot. Well, you know, it, it was a give and take. Exactly. 
But I agreed. I hated to see the trees come down. But that really, there was nothing illegal done here so far. So I I will just didn't start when he said. So I will go unless we do a discussion. I will let me talk, and then I will. The first motion is for six months. You amend the motion for six month extension. Yes, with with emphasis on. That's it. I mean, no delays for IDOT or anything. So we better leave no money to the government. You know, the other bodies to make their recommendations. Okay. Okay. Can we have a second? Second. Moved by Harney, seconded or amended by Harney, seconded by uh, Thorne to place a special use extension of six months upon Ryback project. Oh. Okay. okay. Can we, with the understanding that this is a drop dead date? Yeah. October 17th is. Final extension. Final, that's my final extension. and everybody else. So we better leave plenty of time for we'll come back. The, for the other government agencies that can either approve or disapprove this. That's understood. Okay. Okay. Moved and seconded. Any further comments on this? So I got Harney so, on the motion, Thorne in the second. Exactly. So we voted yeah. on the amendment. This is to a, or the whole well, motion. Did it, didn't was the original yeah. second, Mr. Thorne? Yes. Yes. So they've amended they've, they've amended their original motion. Okay. I don't know that there you have to think that needs a further vote. I don't I'm gonna throw more discussion back out. I just agree with Kelly. I think we should bring it down to three months instead of six. I was just rereading the ordinance. It literally does say okay. commencing. Well, just said six okay. 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 I, 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 was, I was just. I was Courtney, just. If you want to go to three months, you will have to make a motion okay. to amend to three minutes. I make a motion to amend to three months. The current motion that is on the table. I second it. Moved by both okay. to amend and the motion. The motion. From six months to three months. And that's with everything village, state, county, there, shovel in the ground. In three months? In three everything? months. Well, yeah, I, I agree with Kelly that there was 12 months was set when the property was purchased. There was no, there was a real swift move to get in there and clear the land. I think diligence is on their side. They can follow through with it, and I'd like to see it done in three months. They've had 12 months at this point. Okay. Any other discussion on three months? I just want to make sure this right. Mr. Schuster, oh, okay. July 17th is the three month date. July 17th is the three just month date. Sure right. October 17th is a uh, six month date. But first on the floor is the motion to amend the motion. So the motion to, that Mrs. Bo just brought up for a three month is on the floor. Amend. She's amending yes. your yes. motion, yes. so by three months. So if IDOT hasn't responded or another government agent, that doesn't matter. They'd have to come back for another extension. In other words, and that's then a discuss, drop dead time. Three that months. is, and that's, I, I'm sorry, I, that is what I meant originally with the three months, right. and it took me a while to yeah. wrap I, all I around it, but that is. Because you went for six months, you came back. I did, I, and I purposely came back to the three with all government agencies okay. and shovel in the ground. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for letting uh, me clarify. Both. And there's there's some discussion about from Mr. Harney that that would be a final extension. Um, and do you, yeah. is that what you intend? That... Um, my intention is that they have to have. Okay, refrain. <laughs> the government agencies, village, county, state, shovel in the ground. If like now they need another extension, I mean they can. I. Think it'd be less favorable at that point, obviously. But well, or can they ever? Can they not come back for extensions? Yeah, well, that's what he, that's what Ed was saying. Is he's trying to make it six months, and then he can't come back again. Right. Yeah, mine was six months. That's it. Period yeah. for everybody. Which tells Mr. Credit he better get on this because the other agencies often drive the feet. I still say three months. I know. But three months, and then have it be done. Well, that's. Uh, I'm saying have six Because then you might as well vote it down. Six months and be done. No but extensions, I'm, nothing. Nothing. 
You're saying I'm, three months with the possibility of review and extensions. Right? Is that what you're saying? Like, I didn't necessarily mean it that well. I didn't wasn't thinking of it. I didn't think he meant dead drop there, but sorry, give me one second. Well, um, no, no, no. Yeah. I'm more inclined towards the three months, but if it's a dead, like absolutely nothing, and we drop the special use permit as of six months if they haven't followed through and everything's done. Oh, I'm hesitant because there's, there's other government agencies that are involved that aren't us. And I, I know I don't want them to drag their feet, but I also know like we can't we can't anticipate what Kane and Illinois are going to do. And I don't want that like Route 72 to be an issue that then hijacks their project because we set a dead drop. So I would rather push it and say three months. Let's push the agenda and push getting this all done and if it has to charge more that they have to come back and have the discussion because paperwork isn't done, I'd rather do that than we have something that says finals, you said, when it's not a role that we're playing. Correct. So just a motion to approve an extension of three months to With the opportunity. Well, okay. Yeah, but then they can come enough. back every I don't need to say months. anymore. I think, I think you do not. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you, Mike. You know, in the nicest way I can say it. <laughs> okay. So you're sticking with your three months. Three months. But it's not a drop dead. Correct. No, it's just a, it's just of three months to commence construction, uh, subject to all the same conditions that were in the original. What Mark said. Okay. All right. Okay. Any more discussion on the amendment to the main motion? Not. Uh, let's do a roll call on this. Okay. Now, what are we voting on now? Yeah, let's start no real thing again. <laughs> the, the main motion on the floor was to grant a six month extension to the special use permit. The mm -hmm. amendment on the floor is to amend that from six months to three months. You're voting on a motion to amend. Motion to a motion at this point. The main motion. Then we'll come back to the main motion. Then we'll come back to the main motion. And Attorney Schuster, can you set the date that this really is? We're going to have to say it this. Well, let's set a date in the motion. So the, mo the motion would be July 17, 2024. A date. Just want to make sure I got this correct. Okay. Section one. Yes. Okay. So you're voting on the amendment to change the original motion from six months to three months. Okay. From October to July. Okay. Amend six to three. Okay. okay. All right. No. Uh, Trustee McGuire. No. Um, I want to make sure I get this right. Trustee Thomas. No. Uh, Trustee Thorne. This is for the three month extension, that's for a second? Correct. No. Yeah. Trustee Bo. Yes. Trustee Diatley. No. Trustee Hardy. No. That's it. We have one, one two, one, three, three, five, nine, right? Yeah, five, nine. So, so motion is not amended. The motion is not amended. So, so the main motion, the the main motion, motion stays the same at six months. With the dead drop date. Hmm? With the dead drop date. Yeah, that's Sorry, not, that's not a right term, but. No, that's that's not the. Sorry, it's no. Close enough for this. Okay. Now, on the main motion. Just with. Question for Mr. Schuster, just so I get this correct. The and date would be October 17th. With no possibility of extension. So final, final extension. Final. This is a uh -huh. final extension. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just want to make sure I guess yes. that was the original motion. Okay. Okay. So where was I? Trustee Thomas. No. Trustee Thorne. Yes. Trustee Bo. Aye. Trustee Diatley. Aye. Trustee Harney. Aye. Trustee McGuire. No. Four to two, sir. Four to two. So the motion so passes. It's an ordinance. Requires four positive votes. It has four positive votes. So it so passes. The extension is granted until October 17th. Thank you. Got the message. We will not be back. Okay. So, appreciate all it. Right. Thank you all. 
Okay, thank you all for the vote. Uh, that is it for old business. Moving on to new business. Any new business to come before the board this evening? Any no new business to come before the board? Motion to adjourn. Second. Vote and second. All in favor, signify by saying no. Aye. All opposed, we are adjourned. We're on tax day. Thank you, Steve.